Okay boys, in case you forgot, my name's Tim and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through in a little bit more detail some of the things we talked about in the, the last video you watched uh, just to make sure everyone understands and is really clear uh, about how all these changes are going to occur and how they might be different for each person. So the first change we're going to talk about is facial hair. Now, as I said in the last video, uh, guys, we grow facial hair at different rates. Uh, it starts growing at different times, and this is really individual for everyone. So uh, you might start to grow this quite early into puberty, but for some people, uh, facial hair cannot grow until your early 20s in some cases. Uh, and some people never are able to grow uh, a beard, and that's... All of that is perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong. It's just the way that this works. So the next thing we're going to talk about is voice changes. So over puberty, our voice will change. It will drop from being uh, where it is now for you guys to sound a little bit deeper. And when this happens, uh, it can take a little bit of time and it can sometimes make our voice a bit croaky. It can sometimes make uh, it hard to um, speak so sometimes you lose your voice as part of this um, it can make you feel a little bit self-conscious but that's okay uh, it's just part of your voice changing and deepening as you grow up um, again this can happen at any point when puberty is going on so for some people this will happen earlier and for some people it will happen later uh, and there's no uh, real rhyme or reason to it it just happens when it happens uh, and is part of puberty. So now we're going to talk about some of the changes to your genital area that will happen over puberty. Now your genital area is the area which is where your penis and your scrotum are. So we talked about how your testicles descend into your scrotum in an earlier video. Um, alongside this, we also grow what's called pubic hair, which is hair that grows around your penis and your scrotum. Uh, now this grows, starts growing at different times for different people and grows at different rates for different people so um, there's nothing to be alarmed about if somebody has already started uh, and is talking about this but you haven't started it yet you will eventually uh, start that's not that's not something to worry about the other uh, thing is that your penis will grow and again this happens uh, at different times and at different rates for people um, and that's perfectly normal as well once uh, your testosterone kicks in, uh, which is the hormone we talked about in puberty, uh, you will start to produce semen, which is uh, a liquid that sperm is carried in. So um, sometimes when we wake up in the morning as uh, boys go through puberty, uh, we'll have a wet patch um, in our night clothes, and that can be uh, semen. Now, semen is a liquid that's got sperm in it, and sometimes these sperm get a little over eager because their job is to help make children when we grow up and become adults um, so that we can uh, have kids. But the, uh, thing to, the thing is that sometimes these sperm get slightly over eager uh, and tend to go on what is essentially a practice run overnight, which can a result in uh, you find, you waking up to find summer's come out of you during the night when you wake up in the morning. This is nothing to worry about. It's very normal. It happens to almost everyone. Uh, and there's absolutely no reason for it to cause you any alarm. Um, it's just part of uh, developing sp uh, sperm as you grow through puberty. So as we talked about in the last video, uh, as part of puberty, comes with some emotional changes. Now, as we discussed earlier, uh, these can be uh, quickly changing emotions. So from going to be from being very happy to very sad very quickly. But in addition to this, because testosterone drives our changes as boys, uh, we can sometimes get a bit more angry a bit more quickly than we otherwise would. Uh, and why this? And while this is completely normal, um, what uh, it is important to do is to make sure we realise that we're getting. Uh, angry due to some due, due to the changes that are going on and not be uh, nasty to other people because we still have a responsibility 
to behave nicely to everyone despite the fact that we're going through changes uh, as well as this make sure that we um, understand that everybody that's around us is going through these changes so what we're going to do now is talk through some of the questions that we get asked uh, quite often by boys your age when we talk to them about puberty and we hope that the answers to these questions will answer any questions that you have but remember that uh, we are looking to come into school soon um, to answer any questions that you might have so if if however the teacher decides we're going to do that it's important that uh, if you've got questions you ask them because there are no silly questions when it comes to this okay so the first question should be coming up right about So as we talked about earlier, over the course of puberty, your penis will grow. Now, sometimes this happens earlier and sometimes it happens later. So there's no reason to worry if uh, you know that other people have started to develop uh, in that way, but you haven't yet. There's, no, there's no, no reason to worry about that. The other thing is that they'll grow different amounts and that's okay too. Um, just like people have different length arms and different length, different length legs, they can also have different length and different size penises and that's absolutely normal uh, and just how human beings work. So circumcision is a medical procedure that uh, some boys have done when they're a baby, uh, some boys ha have and some boys or men have done as they develop through life. Now there are three main reasons for circumcision. Uh, the first one is uh, it's medically necessary. So it's, there's it's, there's a, a health issue that you have and circumcision is a way of addressing that health issue. So you need to get that done. Okay, uh, but that will be something that if it was the case, your doctor would talk to you about. The second uh, reason is that it's part of some religious beliefs. It's an important step for those people who, who are part of that religion to have themselves circumcised. And the third reason is personal choice. Now, often this is a, a choice of a parent when we're a baby, um, but it is it, it is a it is a factor. Now, circ all the circumcision is is the bit of skin that, that rolls up over the end of your penis that's cut away, um, and so it's called it, that bit of skin is called your foreskin. So circumcision is just when that's removed, and that's all that circumcision is. It's uh, it's a, a fairly minor medical procedure, but um, it's one that will be done by a doctor if any of those three situations occur. Okay, so this is really common uh, in boys when they grow up, uh, and it's part of puberty, as we talked about in the previous video, all teenagers and all people who are going through puberty they 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 are a lot of them develop spots but all of them get this oily skin so it's not something to worry about it happens to a load of teenagers um some are better at hiding it than others but it's it happens to a, an absolute load of them and uh if, if it does bother you um then the advice in the last video that zoe was talking about is that uh, facial cleansers and things you can buy in those aisles. Uh, some of the some of the the cleansers that you can use for your skin are specially targeted to get rid of things like spots. But those really help uh, and can help dampen down some of that oil in your in your skin and help with that kind of thing. So it's uh, there is that stuff there for you. But the other thing to remember is just not to worry about it. It's a normal part of growing up. It's advisable to get rid of that oil, but uh, by using these cleansers, but it's not something you need to stress or worry about. Okay, so this could be you, you could be sitting there going, but Tim, I've got nobody at home that I feel comfortable talking to about this kind of thing. And what I would say to you there is, that's okay, and it's all right that sometimes you don't feel comfortable talking to people at home, but you might have somebody at school or somebody that you know that's an adult 
who you can talk to about this kind of thing and it's about talking to them about what you how you're feeling and what you're worried about okay um now especially if that adult is uh, a man but it doesn't matter whether that adult is a man or not they will have experienced something like what you're experiencing uh and it's 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 fine to talk to them about it uh, providing that, that there's someone that you trust okay and the important thing is if you can literally think of no one there's a school nursing team okay uh, so we can we we can uh, if if you want to speak to the school nursing team you can ask your teacher and they can get in touch with us and that's absolutely fine so if you can't think of anybody else and I, I really think that there'll be somebody in your life that you trust that you can talk to but if you can't think of anybody else you can always come and speak to the school nursing team about these kind of things that's what we're here for Okay, so it's been an absolute uh, pleasure to get to talk to you today. Uh, I hope that you've got a lot out of what we've said, and I hope that you've learned some stuff that will be helpful to you as you grow up. Uh, remember that we should be coming into school in the next couple of weeks. Um, so if you've got any questions, make sure uh, whatever way the, the school is, is dealing with that, that you get those so that we can, we can help you out and we can answer them. All right, and take care. Bye.